Assalamualaikum. I am Professor Dr. Huma Ali. I am working here as Principal of Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Jinnah Singh Medical University. Uh, let's begin with the introduction of uh, Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences. Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences at Jinnah Singh Medical University was established in 2014. This institute has been accredited by Pharmacy Council of Pakistan and also from Higher Education Commission. We have uh, up till now we have inducted nine badges of pharmaceutical sciences here in this institute. The premier feature of this institute are we can say we are having good infrastructure in terms of the resource management like learning resource centers. We are having good spacious and equipped laboratories to conduct various practical aspects or to cover different practical aspects of pharmaceutical sciences. We are having highly qualified uh, research faculty and we are also having highly qualified PhD faculty as well. We are uh, right now having about 18 PhD faculty members in various disciplines of pharmaceutical sciences. So we can say that the brilliant opportunity students can acquire here in Jinnah Singh Medical University to accomplish their pharmacy education. At Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences, we have established five departments as per the recommendation of Pharmacy Council of Pakistan. The first department is Depart Department of Pharmaceutics in which we are having around 11 faculty members. Out of them, five are the PhD faculty members while rest of the faculty is MPhil. Uh, in Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, we are also having good numbers of PhDs and MPhil. Department of Pharmacognosy, Department of Pharmaceutical uh, Chemistry, Department of Pharmacology and Department of Pharmacy Practice. Again, the salient feature of all these departments include that we are having good numbers of PhD faculty members and we are also having a good numbers of senior to junior uh, faculty ratio. Like we are having, we are also following 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4 means 10% professors, then associate professors, then um, assistant professors and lecturers of each and respective departments. All these departments are being established under the uh, directions of Pharmacy Council of Pakistan with not only with the minimum, you can say, the laboratories equipment, but also we are having a state of the art uh, status of various, you know, laboratory equipped facilities. Uh, we are having very good infrastructure of pharmaceutical technology and industrial pharmacy lab. We are having a very good infrastructure of pharmacognosy, pharmacology and pharmaceutical chemistry lab as well. Moreover, all our students from uh, third year till final year go to the uh, clinical rounds in uh, three main tertiary care setups like uh, Jinnah, Jinnah uh, Postgraduate Medical Center, National Institute of Cardiovascular Diseases and NICH. Along with that for clinical uh, for community rotation we also send our students to various community setup and we have signed various memorandum of understanding with different you can say community pharmacy setups which are working in Karachi, Pakistan. So uh, we are one of the premier and very good established institute where we offer a student a very good blended and integrated system of theoretical knowledge coupled with practical and clinical knowledge as well. Why pharmacy education is important? Nowadays, a major drawback is that in our country, the number of pharmacists at various setups including industry, including hospital, community and clinical are very less in number. By acquiring good numbers of competent graduates, the graduate if we talk about the competent graduate it means they are having the specific acquired sets of skills which we need to incorporate through their education career and whenever they are going to work different marketplaces definitely they will be the caregiver to the patients they will be the advisor for their 
therapeutic management they will definitely be the communicator for the rational use of medication and they will be the most important healthcare professional in terms of the healthcare team member as the whenever we talk about the patient safety so we cannot neglect the role of pharmacist in the team of the healthcare professionals so whenever you go for the pharmacy education you are talking about the pharmaceutical care you are talking about the patient care you are talking about the multidisciplinary team aspects of the healthcare professionals and you are talking about the leadership of pharmacy management in various in provision of various you can say healthcare services so this is very important that we should go with the competent pharmacist to the market and for this definitely the education sector definitely work hard to integrate the practical knowledge and to integrate the skill sets of the specific you know areas whenever we talk about the pharmacy professional they will be the blended you can say cohort of hard skills and soft skills hard skills are basically related to various professional skills while soft skills are basically about how do they practice whenever they go in the market in various setups so uh, whenever we talk about the institute of pharmaceutical sciences jinnah singh medical university we are working to empower our student with both sets of hard and soft skills very soon we are going to start our post graduate program in various discipline of pharmacy education including department of pharmaceutics department of pharmaceutical chemistry department of pharmacognosy department of pharmacology and department of pharmacy practice and we are having mashallah very good infrastructure of uh, laboratories for post graduate setup and also good numbers of phds in each discipline and department so inshallah very soon institute of pharmaceutical sciences is going to announce announce its post graduate program as well and we wish them all the very best for the futures